and welcome to the Junior Grand Prix in week six. We are thrilled to be coming to you from the beautiful city of Gdansk, Poland. Gdansk lies at the southern edge of Gdansk Bay on the Baltic Sea and combined with the port city of Gdynia, the spa town of Sopot and surrounding suburban communities, it is home to just about 1.4 million people. Together with the port of Gdynia, Gdansk is an extremely important industrial area. In fact, in the early 1980s, it was the birthplace of the Solidarity Movement, which in time was the largest catalyst for political change in this part of the world. We are staying in the community of Sopot, right on the Baltic Sea, and I might add, it is spectacular. If you ever have a chance, don't miss it. Welcome inside the arena. I'm your host, Ted Barton. And just like last week in Zagreb, this arena was built in 1973 and is host to a very large figure skating community here in Poland. Top scorers so far on the Junior Grand Prix. In ladies, top score remains from week one, where Alexander Trusova was spectacular in earning a 197.69. In men, producing a strong performance in Minsk, top score remains with Alexei Erikov of Russia with a 232.79. In pairs, Daria Polyachenko and Denis Kodakin of Russia maintain top score with a 166.24. And finally, in dance, a solid performance and new top score was produced last week by the Canadian team of Marjorie Lajoie and Zachary Laga, delivering a 150.30. It's week six, two weeks left, Grand Prix points at a premium and the pressure is on. And it starts here in Gdansk right now.